Hi, I'm Mark Pivak, CTO at FBR on Monday the 22nd of June 2020. Behind me we have Hadrian number two doing some small test structures and testing out various improvements that we've made. And in front of me we have various brick products from Europe with Porotherms, uh, a standard clay house brick manufactured in Australia, concrete CMU and FBR's F-blocks in both wide and narrow versions. When we look at the CMU, you can see it's quite a heavy block. It's equivalent to five standard brick equivalents. It's made out of a concrete with quite a hard aggregate in it, and it has uh, cores in here which we do like. These are for running your internal services such as electricity and plumbing. With these wider ribs, when we cut them, we end up with a good finish on the ends. In comparison to that heavy block, we have our F block, this one is a little bit bigger. It's around six standard brick equivalents. The difference between this and the CMU is this is made out of a lightweight aggregate, which has good thermal properties. It cuts much easier. Uh, we have these wide ribs so that when we cut, we get a good finish. And we have internal cores which line up in various orientations of the block for your internal services such as electrical and plumbing. We also have a wider version of that, which is our wide block. This is equivalent to 12 standard brick equivalents. So you can see it's much bigger. With every laying motion of this, it's like putting down 12 of those. We have two sizes of F-block, the externals, which is the equivalent of two internals in width, plus a standard cavity size. This matches up to most design conventions and all works on a grid so that when it's cut, the offcuts can be used and it's set up so that the saw is exactly the same width as the perp end gap so that when we do a cut all the gaps match up. This allows us to use all the offcuts and reduce our waste level to zero so FBR can meet its internal goals of zero impact on the environment. So the robot doesn't care how much it's lifting within reason. We've designed Hadrian number two around the biggest commercially available product, the Porotherm R25. And we designed this block as what we see to be an optimum block for robotic construction within that size constraint. But in the future, we see that blocks will get uh, bigger than what they are here. So just looking at that in comparison, you can see the big cores here. These can be filled with insulation, either at the factory or after laying. Uh, all these cores line up so you can drop insulation into them and there's plenty of room for services and so on. So these have been tested at Curtin University and uh, also tested as part of our fast brick wall system with our construction adhesive and uh, this is really great product which goes up fast and builds a great house. So standard bricks always going to uh, be around I think but for robotic construction it's definitely better to go with a bigger product, like say these Profi 24s from Central Europe, or these R25s from France, and they also have an internal version of those. They make these in a lot of different sizes, uh, so we're adapting Hadrian to be able to handle a wide different range of sizes. Good things about these are they cut nice and easy and fast, they have an expanded clay material and thin webbing designed to give very good thermal properties. Uh, and they have been designed around humans. So they're about as big as a person can reasonably handle. So moderately heavy, but light enough to be able to be used. But of course, in the future, we see that we'll be able to go to much bigger blocks and have the robots designed to handle them.